Good morning, everybody. Oh, you're crooked. Hold on. Let me adjust you so you're well adjusted. <laughs> okay. Are you well adjusted? <laughs> ah, it's a counseling joke. Sorry. Probably wasn't very funny to you. Good morning. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. This is the continuation of the Gnome Journal. Um, I'm going to play around with... I don't know if you'd call it a lap book cover. I don't, I don't know. We're going to... I don't know what to label it. That sets the expectations so high. That's what my mom used to say. She'd put a spoon in your mouth. She'd be in the kitchen all day cooking. And she'd say, come here. And you'd go in the kitchen. She'd have a spoonful of something with her hand underneath it as a drip pan. And she'd say, taste this. And you'd say, what is it? And she'd say, I just made it up. I just cooked it. I shouldn't have to name it, too. That sets the expectation, expectation way too high. Is it good? <laughs> so, I'm not going to name this. Um, this journal should be about 6 by 9. Okay, so we have the signatures are 8 and a half fish. They're 8 and a half, pretty close. And... They're about five and three quarters, so I'm right on my mark. So I'm going with six by nine. Now, these are just some old file folders from my office um, that I'm gonna reuse. There's just no sense in throwing them away. I'm gonna put lace or tabs or something on these if I don't cut them off. So, six by nine, so we know they're going to be nine tall. I feel pretty safe. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. I was going to cut it off to nine, but actually, what if I don't do that and I make a fold? What if I do that? So what if I made a fold about right there? What's the matter, Jaja? What, honey? No, you can't go out. I'm sorry, baby. We got snow. Yep. We got snow. My dog just came in. The plows and everything are outside, and she just came in and put her nose up on my lap and said, I need to go out. There's business to be taken care of outside. There's people and trucks and... No, sis, you can't go. Nope. Let's just see if I can fold this. I'm not sure I want a pocket. I'm not sure about anything. This uh, journal is... I've been given free license, so... artistic license whoops so I'm really taking advantage of that when you're scoring make more passes less pressure I always forget and I'm always sorry <laughs> that's gonna work fine I really want to get one of a, a smaller scoreboard. I don't want this. I've decided that I don't want this to have a lot of pockets. I don't want it to be too busy. I think I probably might put a pocket on the front on top of the cover with a cool closure, maybe with a leather strap or something like that. But other than that, I, I'm, I'm not gonna make it like a steampunk. 
so six would be here, so we're we're quite shy. But we still have the spine. So let's let's do the spine. I didn't think this out before at hand. Um, And uh, so this is just me playing around, basically. I mean, unless you're ordering a pre-made, pre-cut everything, your studio is going to look a lot like mine, right? I mean, so because you just hunt and peck until you get it right. That's the creativity part. I would actually cut this part, cut this little piece out, but let's see if we can make a spine that makes sense. Okay, so that, hmm, that's a one inch spine which will hold easy two signatures, which is kind of what I have in mind, and I'll show you why. Now, I'm gonna set that aside, and I'm gonna do this one. But let's turn it, mm, I really like these holes. Let's go ahead and Turn it that away, but let's do the, let's fold it at nine. Less pressure, more passes, Carol. Wow, that's not even close. Well, how come it's... I'm going to go with the first one. Instead of arguing with it. There's so much forgiveness here. I mean, I can change my mind. I can cut this off. I can change the size of the pocket. A lot I can do. Okay. Then, let's make a spine. there see that crease where it's already made creases for you kind of like an accordion what is it called up oops I can't see very well um, concertina oh my gosh a concertina fold So we got our storm, not very much snow, but enough to make the roads yucky. Some semi ran into a police car, thankfully nobody was in the car. My husband had to get out on the roads this morning, so I actually have my phone on guys, it could ring or buzz. It might buzz because my son has been up all night feeding baby Rottweiler puppies. And so he's been calling me for stuff. So if my phone rings, it'll ring. Let's see, that's not straight or something. What's wrong here? Okay, that I believe. Now I know I'm too long here, but I want to see if they fold right. Yeah. How do I want it? Do I want this one with a tab here? Do I want a tab? I can always cut them off and move them over, which is exactly what I think I'm going to do. 
Now, I, what, I, the, what I have in my brain, and I, I'm not sure how to achieve it, is I want the top cover to fold from left to right and be shorter. But I want this one to cover the span of nine inches. Or I mean, um, six inches. So, this has got to go six inches. It's gotta be straight first. What is going on here? That's straight. That's the problem right there. I think. Okay, that looks better. So this has got to go the total six inches. How much do we have right now? Seven and a half. That's not very much more, is it? Hmm. I think we're done with this for a minute. So I'll go ahead and cut the tabs off. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it right at, can you see, let's see. I'm going to cut it right at this, right at this point right here. So I'm going to take that whole thing off because I can always put back what I want. Um, this is backwards, isn't it? So if I take, if I take it right to the edge here. No. Oh my gosh. It's got to go like that, Carol. Oh, that was close. Were you guys holding your breath going, no, 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 no. Carol, wait. <laughs> Think about it. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so then this one do I want to fold? Right here. You know, I can always glue it down, but if I don't put it in there, I don't have it. I think I'm going to put one in there. But I need to straighten that first. So I need to cut it off and then see what I've got left. Right? Right. So now I have about eight and a half inches. So if I take about, what, two and a quarter or something, I should be good. So it's actually, it is eight and a half. So if I go two and a half, I'd be exactly right. Let's go, let's do two and a half. Less pressure, more passes. And I will probably cut that off. I'm not gonna make anything permanent until I've played with this for a minute and see if I am in love with it or not. This might be a short-term relationship. Kind of believe in that. 
So now, in theory, I should have a six by nine, and I do. Yay! Okay, now, this one. I do have like a one tick over, so it is at a sixteenth over eight. And here's my six. Where's my... However, do I want... Do I want a pocket under here? Oh, I just had an idea. Let me see if it'll work. What if I have a flap on the back? So what if I did six, less pressure, more passes, and then let's do a quarter of an inch to give me some room to fold. So I'm making a, like a little gusset. And I might just cut this off. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not sure this is gonna work. Then fold it. That's the first line. Here's my second line, but it's not scored very well. Oops. Oh, I'm making it worse. I said I didn't want a bunch of pockets, and look at me, I'm making pockets. Hmm. How come you're not cooperating? Hey. What the heck? So it's beautiful outside right now. I'm sure my husband's, like I said, on the freeway, and I'm sure it's not beautiful for him. He just drives. It doesn't bother him at all. Excellent driver, which makes me feel better. Still don't think that's right. I think it will be fine. But it's not exactly a quarter of an inch all the way. Let's see if I can get it just a little bit better. So now I have this cute pocket right here that I could glue right here and just make it a tuck if I want. I could gusset it. I can put two circles right here. Probably cut that off. Now let's see how it fits in here. No, oh, it's got to go like that, right? No. There's my front, right? <laughs> I did the wrong side, right? Yeah, I did, shoot. I wonder if it'll still work. Oh, I wonder. That 
that would actually make a really neat front, wouldn't it? Ooh, I think I'll do that. I think that's my new front. Okay. I believe that. Okay, so now I want to cut this off. Cutter, where are you? Because it can only be six. And I only want it, I don't want any tabs. Whoops. Wrong way. Gosh, it's so easy to get turned around. Okay, so put your crease right there at six. Let's just make sure it's at six. Right there. I only have about a half a million of these file folders, so I'm not feeling like I have to be very careful. Looks like one of them's taller than the other one. Okay, so now, now I would have that and this, which is kind of backwards from what I wanted. No, it's actually good. Look at that. So, because I'm kind of getting turned around here, I'm going to go ahead and mark this because I want to cut that off. I want to leave this, but I want to cut here. This is fine. That's fine. I want to cut here. This is fine. And I want to cut this. Right? Let's do it. And I probably will taper these as well because it's going to get pretty bulky. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've got to show you how the leather turned out. <gasps> oh, I'm in love with it. I'm not sure how I'm going to... I'm not sure if I love that part right there. So this will go like that. This will fit inside. So one of those... One of these flaps has got to go because there's really no need for it. So I could just cut all the way to here. One of the reasons why I was thinking I didn't want a lot of pockets is because I really didn't want bulk. Okay, and I will taper those a little. Okay, looks like we're on the right track. I'm thinking I'll take that off and leave that on. I think. I'm going to wait. I'm not quite sure. And then we're going to cut this out. Which is good because I already tore it. Whoops. You've got a little scissor happy there, girl. I'm, I'm going to get a piece of tape and tape that. I just cut it and I didn't need to. just found a huge needle in my chair. That would have hurt really bad. Well, 
When I first started making journals, I actually learned from Jen, um, Jan over at Genevieve Designs. Um, she's very meticulous. Uh, she's a measurer, so that was difficult for me to get. It was actually discouraging, to tell the truth, because I'm not a measurer. But her her designs are stunning, and the end product is fabulous. And there's a lot to be learned about measuring. You know, I mean, there's a lot to be appreciated about taking the time to do it right. Okay. I believe this. What do you say? So, it will have a pocket here, but what I'll do is have a tie like so. And I'll probably make it so that it starts here and comes all the way around. So you would flip this open and probably have a signature here. Like here. And flip this open and have two signatures there. And I do think I'll cut that off. Um, anyway, uh, Jan over at Genevieve Designs, if you have not watched her channel, I made the very first actual formal thing I could call a journal that I made was her glassine bag. And I turned it into a baby book and made it. And oh, it was precious. I just loved it. I do think I better straighten out the height. I'm about a quarter of an inch. I'm not sure how I did that, but. It just could be because I can't really see what I'm doing. But I think I'm going to take it off the... Oh, I can't. Hmm. Fine. Fine, I'll take it off the top. It's probably this space right there that's making the difference, and that's why it's a quarter of an inch. Or that's why it's... You know. don't have to be exact because there's a lot of forgiveness in covering the, the um, journal. Now, I could, this has a pocket, I could do it like so. This has a pocket here and I could do this such that this was a pocket as well. And I kind of like that idea. What I'm thinking is how are these going to lay? because we're gonna have a signature here. Let me, I'm gonna pin this together so that I'm not holding it and trying to rehold it and yada, yada, yada. So in theory, assuming we're gonna put that pocket on the back, this will go here. Hmm. 
this will go like so. So we'll have one. You'll open it up and you'll have a signature here. That will go this way. Okay. Then there'll be a signature here. That'll go this away. And this will be shut. That will be a side tuck. Now, you could have a signature right there. Or you could have two here. Let's pin this one. Because we're saying that's a pocket back there. And let's just see how this would shut. Oh, it shuts nicely with two signatures. That's with no ephemera. the idea of the signature going the other way. You feel me? Like, what if the signature came this way? And then you could have, I still, look guys, look at this leather. Look how it turned out. It's you can't even believe how it feels. It's so awesome. So it has a pocket. And then the back has a pocket. And I have to decide whether I want to sew that or not. I may not. I don't know yet. I'm not done sewing it, but I want to see how it's going to lay in the journal first. But you could have a signature here. So you'd actually have three. This would be like so. You wouldn't have any room for ephemera. There's just no way. It's not big enough. Okay, so got to go to plan C. If this were to turn like so, this goes like that. Could I fit two? Could I fit two signatures in here? Yeah, they would fit. They would fit nicely. With no ephemera. <laughs> and I, I could put this on the cover, maybe. Over my cover, you know? A cover over a cover. Nah, I don't like that. So I have to decide. Am I going to do away with one of the signatures? Or am I just going to have it go like that? And tie it around like that. Decisions, decisions.
There's really no other way to make these kind of decisions, in my opinion, other than playing with it. You have to hold it in your hands and open it and close it. And one of the things I have to do, because I'm a visual person, is I need to get rid of all of the other cluster. Clutter, I mean. So let me get rid of all of that. This has got to happen. Lest we forget, that's got to happen. Now this doesn't account for, I want something on the front. I want some kind of a pocket on the front. It still feels like it's opening backwards to me. So what if this is the front? This would be the front. This would be your first signature, or both of them, I should say. So this would be two signatures. Hmm. I may have to think about this for a minute. I really want it to open this way. That's what I wanted from the beginning. I think I like that better. I'm fine with this flap on the back, or it could even it could even hold this signature like we talked about, like, like that. Yeah, there we go. That's probably how it should be like that. So now you have a square edge and you have a square edge. This is my front. This is my first signature. Now I have to figure out how I want to bind these or, you know, connect them. This could go just like that with a tuck. Okay, I believe that, but then this would turn and go like this, and this fits handily right there. That's perfect. Three signatures, no bulk, and room for ephemera. Voila. It's muy bueno. Okay. So, let's just do it one more time. So I'd have a, just a little tuck right there. This signature would be sewn in right here. I would have a tuck here and maybe some other kind of pocket. What did I, I clipped this for a reason. Oh, because this flap right here. Yeah, this flap would happen. So that's that would glue the two signatures together with a tuck. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Okay, so that's how it's gonna go, at least for this minute. But hold on. Take a sip of your cocktail. I want to show you the leather. I came in again last night after it dried and gave it a generous coat of Mod Podge. Look, can you, can you feel it? Can you feel it? It's, it feels like a patent leather shoe. It feels like 
it does not feel like paper. And if there's any way I can preserve the edge, I'm going to do that. It has this little bit of green, can you see? That we put in there, just that little, little bit of green. It's really, I think this is going to be what I use. Not sure how. This is a beautiful side too. Every time I make faux leather, I'm always like, oh, look at the back. <laughs> so, in theory, it would go like, this would have leather cover. And then, maybe all the way to there would have a leather cover and maybe we could take it we could take it all the way inside of here see how tough it is it's very tough even if it tore right now I could patch it one of the issues that I'm having is the request is that I put a Joshua tree with a full moon on the cover. Sorry, guys. Sounds like my husband's home. So somehow I found this on Etsy. Um, I believe her site's called Always Sass Forever Sassy. And uh, she told me I could use it, and I shrunk it down. This was not the original design. It had a uh, southwestern border. I'm going to, I'm not done playing with this, but it really doesn't match any of the ephemera. So there's that. I'll show you. I mean, this would be okay. Those kinds of things would be fine. That would be fine. But this is kind of what we're dealing with. Doesn't really match. <laughs> so somehow I have to get Southwest to match a gnome theme. I'm hoping the leather will help me do that. And maybe a frame or maybe a little separate pocket on top that has that picture in it where she can put the pictures. They took a trip, apparently, and they took a lot of pictures. And so I've got to figure out how to get that on, get that on there. This is, I use my laser printer, so I should be able to Mod Podge that, no problem. And I can reprint it if I mess it up. I do think I have company. I think my husband's probably home. Excuse my yawn, guys. So I'll probably take a break. I need to get my eye away from this for a minute. So give me your feedback and uh, let me know what you think about the, the layout, the placement. If you're seeing any problems that I haven't caught, comment, would you? <laughs> please, please, please. Okay, guys. I will post this video. I'll go take a break while it's loading, and then I will come back, and we'll keep moving. It's coming right along. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.